Well, project monitoring in Poland has developed over the last few years. Um, the typical situation is where there is a stakeholder in a project which wants to protect their interests. And this can be uh, a tenant, future owner of the building, maybe the bank lending money for the construction. All of these uh, organisations don't have direct contracts on the design and construction of the building and so they need to, their interest to be protected. And how did they do that? Well, they employed a project monitor. And this should be an independent specialist consultant who can look at all aspects including the permitting process, whether the, how the leasing is proceeding, design and construction. So all of those aspects need to be pulled together, regular visits, and that's how it's structured. And contractually, there's a three-party agreement, the, normally the lender, uh, the borrower, and also the project monitor. And this creates an interesting situation because the project monitor is not too uh, primary care is to the lender and uh, secondary care is obviously to provide correct reporting for the borrower. So that's how it looks right now. Well, this is a very good question. A few years ago, project monitoring was a very valued service. Senior people would provide that service and the fees were at a reasonable level. Now that the fees are, uh, there's a lot of fee competition, uh, the fees have gone down and the consultants have responded by providing less experienced individuals, less number of visits and so on. And developers, because it's part of their cost, are very keen to minimize that cost. Um, it's a difficult situation now. Uh, I don't believe you get the value anymore. They just have a minimal cost service. Um, the RICS guidelines indicates that cost should not be the primary factor in selecting a project monitor because of the value an experienced consultant can give. Um, so in, do you get what you pay for? Unfortunately you do in the current market because you don't pay very much and you don't get back very much. I think banks need to consider their risk profile to take control of the uh, project monitoring service and to bring it back as a high value uh, service for themselves. And uh, I would welcome a debate within the industry about how we can create that situation. Uh, we provide project monitoring service both for tenants, uh, for investors who are forward purchasing projects as well as uh, banks and lenders. We do provide that. Uh, we provide uh, a high quality service um, which may be cost prohibitive to some uh, organisations but we believe we add significant value. So uh, yes we provide the service. In terms of moving forward I think we need to look at restructuring how project monitors are appointed and that banks should be directly appointing project monitors rather than uh, leaving it to the lenders I and mean, to the borrowers who obviously have uh, other uh, interests than the, uh, than the banks. So I would suggest a change in how project monitors are appointed and this would improve the service for uh, clients.